Seguimos con el Carlos Beltrán, Tropical Night, el privado Barry Larkin, una de las estrellas que jugó con Cincinnati. Barry, welcome to Puerto Rico, welcome to En La Cancha Radio. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing, I'm doing really well. I've been busy and working with uh, ESPN now, watching Carlos and all the guys still do their thing. <laughs> I'm no longer playing, but I'm still close to the game. So, how has been your transition being an, an outstanding player, baseball player, and now doing this analysis and all that in ESPN? You know, Kind of towards the end of my career, I found myself uh, helping a lot of guys in the cages before the game, uh, talking a lot of strategy to guys. Player development is something that's always uh, been intriguing to me, uh, something that I've always tried to pass on to guys. When I retired, there were two guys that signed gloves for me, and I don't think they talked to each other, but they both wrote on the gloves. David Concepcion and Ozzie Smith continue the legacy, pass on the tradition. Wow. So it's about passing on the information that we So you're, to make. you're trying to do the same so thing I'm with other great things. players, exactly. or future players that you identify. Exactly. Any, do you working on any organization right now to doing that, or is it something that you're, you're doing on your own? Well, it's something I'm doing on my own. I, okay. Obviously, I have I still have close ties with the Reds organization, I'm sure. so I go back to spring training to get a chance to work with some of those guys. And they've got some really good middle infielders that are coming up. Not close, not probably next next year, but maybe two years down the road, we're going to see some good, strong middle infielders of Cincinnati organization. But I'm getting ready to do a, an online virtual baseball academy All so right. I can work with kids from around the world. And that's what I've really been doing. I work with the federal government. I've gone to uh, different South American countries. I've been to Brazil. I went to Colombia. I've been to uh, China and okay. Korea oh, and Japan. I'm and kind of passing along baseball, trying to globalize the sport. So, like I said, I've stayed in the game. I've been close to the game. And now I'm able to touch, not the guys at the big league level, no, that's, but the guys. You don't have too much to do with them. That's right. With the, the younger guys. Guy. Trying to get exactly. There. Absolutely. Any possibility that you could be a manager of the, the Major League Baseball in any. Oh, you consider that? That's that's question. That's a real breakdown. You know, I uh, it would be something that I would consider. Uh, I don't think I'm, quite, um, I'm not quite ready for it yet. I actually was offered that opportunity uh, a few years ago. I wasn't ready to take it then. I've got a, uh, a couple of younger kids that uh, I still want to see them through their high school years. And then maybe at that time, I'll be considering it. So you're almost being a Hall of Famer. The vote is going next year, right, right. for you. Right. How, how anxious you are to get in, in, into the Hall of Fame. You know, it's not something that I think about every single day. Okay. Uh, but when someone talks about it, you know, it, it's something I certainly would love to, to be part of. Uh, I got a chance to talk to Eddie Murray. He's here. Uh, and I had a real good chance to speak with Jim Rice last year when he, or two years ago when he got uh, inducted. And I asked him, I said, why on your 15th time did you think you got inducted as opposed to your first through your 14th time? He said, because they decided to put me in. He said, there's nothing else that you can do as a player. You can't go out there and, and come back. Although, I've thought of it. No, 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 no. Nothing else you can do in your career. You just go out there, you, you play the way that you did, and you left the legacy that you did. And hopefully, people will figure it's good enough. Barry, thank you very much for this interview. Say hello to all the Hispanic fans and Puerto Rican fans that listen on El La Cancha Radio right okay. now. Quiero pasar saludos a todos los fanáticos latinos. Gracias. Thank okay. you very much. Okay.